Okay, so here is the property at 250 Manzanita. I wanted to show you where the entrance was. So this is the Target Shopping Center right off of College. And this home is right near the 76 in College. So the location is great. Um, you're one street light in where Buchanan Park is. So I, I thought I would just give you a bit of a view of your drive in. Um, this is Buchanan Park. And then just on the other side of it is and access to the San Luis Rey bike trail, which can take you all the way down to the beach. Um, also, this community is really well kept. It's beautiful. The homes are um, all Spanish style. So I wanted to kind of give you uh, a little bit of a glimpse of what the drive is like into the neighborhood um, because it looks really good. Very good curb appeal. And the community itself is nice. There is a pool just one block away from the house, which I did a little drive by at the end of the video. So this is the community itself. It's a stop sign in and then down off of Manzanita. So there's this other little walking trail here and then that stop sign is Manzanita. And then once you turn left here, it's all the way down on the left. The pool is down on the right. And then it's kind of like the back of the shopping center and another condo complex at the very end of the street. But the community itself is really nice. They all have that gate opening in the front. Two car garage. There was a lot of people looking at it when I arrived but this is the front of the property. And yeah, really nice neighborhood. Landscapes in great condition. Um, the house does need some work. I would say a good exterior paint is it's time for and new windows, but overall, the place is, is in good shape. I would definitely paint both the inside and the outside because uh, you'll notice that they didn't touch up the paint. And then although the landscaping is a bit overgrown, uh, that's honestly an easy task, but they've redone the flooring in here. Um, except for the bedrooms, the carpet could use at least a cleaning, but um, it's Berber carpet, so it might withstand the cleaning and be able to be saved. But definitely you can see the patching on the walls. Um, this is why it's priced at 600. It looks like they had a renter in here and then um, did very minimal turnover repairs and put it back on the market to sell. So there is this hall coat closet right as you walk in. And then you walk in right into the living room and then it goes into kitchen and dining or it could be a kitchen and family room that's your access to the garage there is no fridge but there is that space for one there's a fireplace and then two patios going out into the yard so one here off of the family room or dining room and then one there off the master the fence is in good shape again minus the overgrown plants and um, definitely needs the exterior paint because some stucco is peeling and chipping. But overall, I mean, the house is in good shape minus those things. And I think with the price point that they have put it at, they've allowed the room for those things. So there is brick throughout the backyard. And it is pretty level. Um, there is some, you can tell that the, the landscaping has been overgrown for some time because there is staining and algae on the brick. But I think all these things are fairly easy to fix up and repair. Um, if you do decide to just keep the brick as is, so. And there's me noting some of the stucco staining and then the brick discoloration 
But overall, the floor plan is really nice. All three bedrooms are on one side of the house. And then I'm gonna take you into the garage here in a minute. Uh, original cabinets, tile countertops. Overall, there, there's definitely some updating to be done. Um, but if you guys decided to rent this out as is, you'd still get a really good rental rate. I would just, you know, put a fridge in here and do some painting. But other than that, this would be a really great long-term investment. The garage is a great size. Water heater is older. Furnace is older. Um, and again, the price point shows all those things. I don't think they've done very much to the property in a long time. But overall, it is a really great house. There is room for storage and room for two cars. And this is where you'd put your washer dryer as out here in the garage. So these are the bedrooms. These are right off the living room near the front door. This is the first room with the Berber carpet. So minimal staining, might be able to st save it. Again, needs that touch up paint in the bedrooms. There is popcorn ceiling throughout. And then a mixed match of different types of closet doors as well. Got the seashell um, sink along with kind of original bathrooms too. So you can kind of see where you would need to be putting your money into this property. But again, it would work for a rental. So you could definitely budget for those maybe bathroom remodels for down the road. But you got some mirrored closet doors here in the master, two closets, plus the ensuite bathroom. But overall it is in good shape. Even though it is dated, it is in very good shape. And then last room here, right off of the end of the hall, there's some linen cabinets. And I, this last room is the smallest bedroom uh, with the window that goes out towards the backyard. And then another um, standard closet door. But again, lots of space, carpet's great. Here's me driving by where the pool area is. Uh, and it's just one block from that house. So great property.